Community Kids, Kids Church. Church. It's Joan here. And Jason. And we're glad to see you. So, hey Joan, do you like to play building blocks? Yeah, I love building blocks. Because I just bought some new building bricks. Let's have a competition. Each of us needs to build a house. Like the one in this picture. Within, let's say, a minute. Mm. And whoever's the fastest will be the brick master. <gasps> kind of like Lego master, but with <laughs> building blocks. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> sure. Three, two, one, let's go. Yes. did it. Oh, what, what happened to your house? <sighs> well, I did build one, but it fell apart. And if I didn't rush and if I built the house on a table instead of on the sofa, I could have won. That's okay, Jane. You know, that reminds me of a parable of two men who both built a house. One built on rocky foundation and the other built on sandy ground. Really? Who built the better house? It's a good question. But before we answer that, let's praise God with a song. Yes, kids. Let's do all the actions together.
Wow, I love that worship song. Boys and girls, today we will continue to talk about Jesus' parables. Do you remember what a parable is? A parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning, which means that Jesus uses simple ways to teach us about God and his message. That's right. Today, we will be learning about the parable of the wise and foolish builders. Before we go any further, hey little missy, what makes someone wise? When a person makes good decisions. And what makes someone foolish? When a person makes bad decisions. That's very good little missy. Jesus told a parable about two men who each decided to build a house. But first, they needed to find the perfect location. The first man was very wise. He considered the kind of house to build and how it needed to withstand gusty winds and heavy rain. The wise man focused more on the foundation. My dream house must have these important features. My very own king-sized bed with a unicorn blanket, ensuite bathroom, a heated indoor swimming pool with slides, a 10 meter trampoline or an indoor gym. But did you know they are not the most important thing? The most important part of a building is not the stylish design, room layout, or fancy interior. When constructing any building, whether a single story house or a towering skyscraper, the first thing to consider is the foundation. Foundations are very important for the structure to hold. The wise man looked everywhere for a suitable foundation for his house and finally found a huge flat rock. He dug around it and chipped the rock until it was the right size to build. And after he finished building, he lived comfortably in his house. Many times, wild storms and raging winds blew and the rains came, but he did not worry because the solid foundation was able to keep the house sturdy and secure. Now, what about the other man? Well, in Jesus' parable, he told of the foolish man that built a house. He did not think carefully about the kind of house that he should build and he found a flat place on the sand and started building. Oh, yes, he built his house on sand and the foundation kept slipping and sliding. But the foolish man did not care, he just wanted to build a house. After the foolish man finished building and moved in, guess what happened when the storm came? The winds blew and the rains came down and his house fell apart. Why? Because it did not have a strong foundation. Oh, that's right, Joan. Let's see what Aunt Jill has to say about today's parables. Rock is hard, but sand is weak. The rock is our Bible, God's word, Sand is like TV, like TV. Like TV. And perhaps social media. What do your friends say and what the world tells you? Are you building your life on the rock or the sand? Boys and girls, to build your house on the rock is to know what the Bible says and to understand that God loves you and his plans for you are good. But you know what? Sometimes we don't like what God says. Sometimes we want to build our lives on what the world says and our friends and social media. If you build a house on the rock, it will last a long time. Now, if you build a house on sand, it will crumble away. Oh no! Why is 
kids build their lives on the Bible because God knows what's best for us. Now, I want to share with you a song that I learnt when I was a little girl. I hope that you can sing this song when you read about this parable. The wise man built his house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock And the rains came tumbling down The rains came down and the floods came up The rains came down and the floods came up The rains came down and the floods came up But the house on the rock stood firm The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up, and the house on the sand went splat. Build your lives on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your lives on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your lives on the Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessings will come down. Blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your lives on the Lord. Thanks, Aunt Jill, for your wisdom. Let's take a look at our memory verse for today. Hi, Uncle Bob here. Our memory verse today is, For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. James chapter 1, verse 24. Let's read that once more. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. James chapter 1 verse 24 I really like today's parables. Both men built exactly the same house. The wise man didn't use stronger materials than the foolish one. That's right, and the houses on the outside look exactly the same. But what was the problem? It was the foundation. One built on the rock and the other built on the sand. Just like me, when I built my house on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, and Jesus teaches us how both men heard God's word, but only one acted upon what he heard. We need to hear God's word and put it into practice. Yes, today we learned that God is our rock and our firm foundation. Kids, our firm foundation is what God says, and we go to the Bible to get good advice. Will you read your Bibles to know what God says? Do you want to be like the wise man who hears God's words and obeys Him? Let's close in prayer. Dear Jesus, we pray that you'll help us to follow you so that you can keep us strong against temptation and whatever happens to us in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. We'll see you again next time. See you again. Bye. Well, Jason, now that I've learnt the secret to building a good house, let's have a rematch. Okay. Great idea. Three, two, one, let's, let's go. go. <laughs>